Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Dropping Into Happiness. We are your hosts. I am Rachel. And I'm Maggie. Welcome, Sundrops. Uh, this is what the last Wednesday in March. We are officially in spring. My kids are on spring break. I don't, Maggie, are you still on spring break for school or are you back in school now? We are back in school. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys only get one week for spring break? Just the one. But my kids get two, man. They had like three weeks off at Christmas, two weeks off at spring. Yeah. They get a lot of time off around here. Do they get a shorter summer or? Where'd you go? <laughs> you were frozen, so I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> oh, my gosh, ah! oh, yay. Okay. <laughs> did they did they get a shorter summer? Kind of. I mean, oh. uh, at the new school they're at now, they still get out mid-June, but they do start kind of early August. Okay. So I remember starting in, like, September. Like, oh. we used to get out before my birthday, and my birthday is mid-June, and I remember we wouldn't go back until, like, mid-September, mm. but it's, a, it's, like, almost a whole month shorter for our kids now. But they do get a lot off during the year, so I thought that's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, that is. A little R&R. I know, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't feel like I have any announcements today. There's no new Patreon uh, announcements today. Uh, Maggie's not doing another wackadoo crazy marathon weekend <laughs> anytime no, soon. No, I did. You um, know, I did sign up for another CrossFit competition. I actually have two coming well, up. Well, you said also there was a – isn't there a race coming up on April 1st that you wanted to try to do like a 5K? Yeah, I thought I was going to be able to do that one um, here yeah. in my local town, but I forgot I have an, a prior work commitment that I won't be in town. So Aww. that was a bummer, but me and my running running buddy were like, we'll just do our own 5K, um, which it works out because the plan that I was working Fun. towards – was supposed to put me done like with the training April 7th and 8th so I was actually mm -hmm. gonna be having to run early anyway so now we'll just run oh. according to plan and that will be fine yeah yeah oh that's good that's kind of fun too though just doing it kind of me <laughs> when I lived in Texas if my friend Lauren is listening she might uh she her and I used to do this thing called 5k Wednesdays Wow. And we had this park we used to go to. We loved this beautiful park. And I think if we went around it eight times, I want to say, was just over three miles. So mm -hmm. we was, we would take her son, push him in the stroller. Every Wednesday we would meet up and we had 5K Wednesdays. Yay. That is awesome. I know. It was so fun. I forgot all about that. Oh, mm -hmm. that was fun. Uh, all right, friends. Well, so we're going to hop on into this then today because, like I said, not a lot of announcements. So. Today, I kid you not, um, I, honestly, this is kind of funny when this topic came to me. I was on my way to Emma's birthday party. Remember you guys, uh, Emma, our, my, my little cousin who was on, uh, her birthday was the other day. And I want to say, too, thank you to the listeners who reached out to me to tell her happy birthday. She was, like, Aww. floored that, like, y'all remembered and wanted to tell her happy birthday. So she was very excited about that. Uh, her super fun birthday, though. So I was on my way to her house when this topic hit me and I don't even know, I think, okay, I'm going to be honest. I was listening. I'm re-listening to Dr. Foster's The Shift. Mm, yeah. We haven't talked about that book in a long time, but I forgot. I also bought, I was so excited when that book was announced. I forgot that I bought it as an audio book and I bought the paperback. So I, I'm listening to it now. So I had it on in the car and that's kind of what sparked this idea for me. And I don't know if Maggie's going to get this reference because, you know, she's much younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> but my idea was to call this Be Kind, Rewind. So well, yeah, anybody... Blockbuster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for those youngins who might be listening, this is in reference to VHS tapes, okay? Yes. When you rented a videotape, you needed to rewind it before you turned it back in. So Be Kind, Rewind. But in reference to a wellness journey... It immediately sparked this idea in my brain about us being kind to ourselves. Because I can't tell you how probably the meanest person along my entire journey in the past more, but has always been myself. Mm. Being critical, criticizing. So, And then we've talked about rewinding the tape. I've always said that's one of my favorite techniques that WW had taught me was rewinding the tape. What worked? And so that just kind of sparked an idea for me to be kind, rewind. So... 
the idea is whenever we have that negative Nelly, that, that negative self-talk, when we are putting ourselves down to just, you know, pump the brakes, we're going to be kind and rewind. And I want to think back to, okay, no, what am I proud of? What was something that I did that was successful? What was something that I can celebrate today instead of this negativity? So I feel like, I mean, remember I referenced, you know, Rachel 10 years ago, that girl needed some assistance. Uh, she needed to be kind rewind. I feel like I'm so much better at this now, but it's taken, it's taken time. It's taken time to process. Do you feel like you've ever needed that situation, Maggie? Like when you were like, all right, I need to stop and take, and, and take a step back. Yeah. I mean, I think, um, it comes and goes in waves, like in terms of being kind to ourselves and wanting to beat ourselves up. I even just yesterday. So I went to a, three hour Olympic weightlifting seminar where we exclusively worked on wow I know our snatches, our cleans and our jerks, which is all like barbell movement and <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I even signed up for that was an on scale victory because like th- three, four years ago you would have never caught me dead like doing anything like that. Yeah. But um I was, you know, there were some people in the class, it was a pretty small class, but there were some people in the class who were already pretty familiar with the movements and could already lift pretty heavily, and I was not there, Uh, and, you know, by the end of the class, I was, you know, uh, snatching 80 pounds and, like, or, or snatching, like, 75 pounds and clean and jerk, I think I got up to 90 pounds, but even still, like, I was just seeing these other, couple of other girls that were just, like, yeeting these like loaded barbells in the (laughs) air and just looking so awesome and and I was celebrating them and like hyping them up but then if I completed a movement and they were cheering for me I was just like yeah okay like because it's like I wasn't letting myself celebrate because I didn't feel like it was as impressive as like what was going on around me even though like yeah everything that I did yesterday was technically a PR I, yeah. I didn't I didn't let myself feel the celebration and then you know this guy who didn't doesn't know me at all first time meeting me yesterday he was just like we need to work on celebrating ourselves a little more which was kind of funny because like I feel like I'm a big champion of that but then just in that environment yeah. I was not like really hyping myself up so I could have rewound the tape and just been a little bit more excited with each rep but also like I think I get in my head with the technical and I'm just focused on all the things that I have to do or like need to hit or improve on that. I just don't even let myself like be in the moment. So it's kind of a, you know what you brought up and I think, um, I, we've never talked about this before, but so technically you were not, you weren't talking negatively to yourself, but Mm -hmm. you weren't celebrating. So, you know what I mean? So there was, there was just an, there was an absence of negativity, Mm -hmm. but in that absence, there still was no positivity. Right. And I think that, that can get to us too sometimes. Like, even though we're not being mean or just kind to ourselves, just that lack of positivity kind of still leaves that, that hole there, that void that can be filled with that positive talk. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's interesting. But you just started doing those two right like just a few weeks ago remember because didn't the guy say you could either be one day or day one right yeah yeah that was just a few weeks ago and he was actually the coach that like was doing the seminar and he said hey I thought of you like I'm doing this thing if you want to come it'll be really great for beginners since I saw you had an interest and so I was like oh yeah sure like I'll come so that did get the ball rolling so then any amount of weight that I did like I should have been celebrating a lot more and yeah. It's also so funny because now it's like I have a feeling I want to beat myself up for not celebrating myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, rats, like, why wasn't I, like, just happy to be there? You know, like, I think I part of it, too, is, like, competitive um, nature, you know, to just always yeah. wanting to, like, focus on the growth, growth, growth. But if you're not doing it with celebration, then, like, where's the joy? Where's the joy? And recognizing even those small steps. You know what? It's so funny. My, my son out of nowhere the other day was like, I want to play soccer. Mm-hmm. And we were like, okay, bud, like, can, can you sign up for the school team? He's like, I have the paperwork right here. Mm-hmm. We had to take him to get his, uh, his physical and all that. Cause you know, cause he was like, why do I have to have a physical? I was like, yeah. Cause if you get injured, the school's going to be like, uh, he was fine when we got him. Like he was right. not broken when he started. <laughs> he was not broken. So, um, yeah. So we went and got him like a new soccer ball and got him some new cleats, but 
when we were going to get him a new soccer ball, my husband, because I'm just like, oh, here, there's an $8 ball. My husband's like, what about this $40 ball? I'm like, all right. But in that area where we were buying it, I turned around. We were at Walmart, too. I turned around, and they had, um, like, jump boxes. And there was, like, so one box was, you know, three different sizes because it depends on how you turn it. And I immediately tell my husband, oh, Maggie was practicing on doing her 20-inch jump. Like, I immediately set it down because I was, like, I was, like, yes, yes, I see this is 24. Maggie did a 20. And he's, like, okay. <laughs> to like see it and show him i don't know was, i was like i want one now no i want one yes it, yeah i didn't even know you could yeah, i guess that makes so sense funny. that you could buy one just to have but um, yes and i think they were like maybe 30 or 40 dollars not that bad i just don't have the space for it in my house but you know yeah. you know another time where where i could have re rewound rewinded and be kinded <laughs> <laughs> be kind rewind <laughs> i was trying to think of the past tense well actually it didn't yeah. go as badly as i thought it would but swimsuit shopping um is Ooh. is just wow and you know yeah. like i'm up a few pounds from my lowest weight ever and i was like reflecting back my lowest weight was in summer of 2021 and that was an awesome summer. And I just look back on like all the pictures from that time and I was just look so happy and I just have a lot of great memories. There was just a lot. We, it was like kind of the first summer down here in Florida where things were opened up and, you know, we were just yeah. living life again and it was so fun. So I am not the same weight that I was. Um, I'm not the same weight that I was. That's all I meant to say. Um, yeah, and I want, but I wanted a new swimsuit and not even because the other ones didn't fit really. It was just, I just wanted a new swimsuit, but like, gosh, golly, that is like such a chore shopping for swimsuits. Like they were already picked over the, oh my gosh, pants. Yeah, don't pants even, don't even start it. Yeah. Don't even start it on denim shorts. Oh jeez, yeah. I had a whole issue with yeah. denim shorts yesterday too. So I, me and Ivana, who was on the podcast before, we were both trying on swimsuits yeah. at Walmart and we were in the dressing room together, which honestly I think helped because we were just there to like compliment each other or like, you know, yeah. tell each other, encourage each other to try like a smaller size or to tighten the straps or whatever. And yeah. we, we both were like, wow, that went, that went better than we thought it would. Like we weren't as mean to ourselves as we could have yeah. been and then I so I got a swimsuit that I was so excited about and I was really looking forward to wearing it we had a great day that day we went and then we went to the pool and I wore a different swimsuit because I wanted to wear the fun swimsuit to the beach so I had a different swimsuit yeah. on the pool and I took a little poolside selfie and I was really like actually feeling pretty good despite you know the scale or whatever and I posted a picture and the caption was like, it's tiger stripe season. And you actually commented on it because you're like, it's raining here. Or no, it's, yeah, it was raining. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sorry, was like, girl. Here. <laughs> but I, I was like, because, you know, really, I don't even, it's not even my, like, size of my body that I think makes me feel insecure in a swimsuit. It's like the uh, stretch marks and the lumps and the bumps that, like, if I'm having a negative thought, it's about that. And yeah. Anyway, so I'm trying to embrace my tiger stripes. Sorry if you're all are watching on YouTube. I got like sweat on my shirt. Um, <laughs> I forgot that was there. I'm like stretching. Um, but um, I was like tiger stripe season, and this lady was like, "Is this an old picture of you? You look like you've gained weight." <gasps> and I was like, ah! "I just what? I that was the first I've gotten some comments of like judgment about food choices." I don't even, or, like, one time I got some comments about my form on, like, a squat or something. But, like, overall, I've had good luck with, like, trolls on the internet. But this is a lady who had yeah. met, who has messaged me before. Like, we've had conversations, and she commented that. And it's so funny, though. I went to see the last time she had messaged me was in September of 2022, saying, you look so tiny, praise hands. And I was like, yeah, strong and healthy because I don't like being called tiny. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not tiny. First of all, I'm just not. And then but also, tiny, to... tiny does not equal healthy. Right, it's, and it's just know, like it's, it's no... same, same thing with same thing with like bigger bone does not equal unhealthy. Right. You know what I mean? Like the size of your body does not equate what's going on on the inside. Right, and it was just not if for, for I don't know. And if anybody out there listening identifies as tiny, I'm not saying that that's good nor bad or whatever. Just for me, I was like. Yeah. I, 
time. But clearly this woman was very invested in how I look or like she was very invested in my size and how I my I looked. And what's really funny is compared from now from to September when she said I look so tiny, I was this basically the same weight within like just a couple of pounds. So I was like, really? Um, but that sent me into a spiral of being mean to myself. And I was like, I got mad that she was right. I got mad that I now looked at the picture and I was like, I guess this isn't a flattering picture. I got mad that like my instinct was to just take the picture down. I was like so excited about wearing that new swimsuit the next day. And now I was like, I don't even want to go to the beach. Like this sucks. And luckily Ivana was there to like talk me off the ledge, but I was that was probably the nastiest I've been to myself in a long time. And it was because yeah. someone else put that voice in my head. Um, Cause I would, I felt good in that picture. Otherwise I wouldn't have posted it until someone said otherwise. And then I got mad that I was letting this person on the internet, like di- dictate like my entire emotional being. So well, I remember we talked about that a few weeks ago on the, on the don't do it. Like don't let other people tell you how you feel. Right. I should have listened but, to my uh, own advice. <laughs> We we had someone, uh, I, I was even telling someone this just the other day, like, we have a, such a phenomenal community. I keep waiting every single week for, like, the trolls to come at us, like, oh, this is the worst podcast I've ever heard, or just something <laughs> very negative, and we just don't get that, right. and I, I'm so thankful for that. However, this last week, I posted a clip on TikTok, the story about me saying no, even when I was at the drive through window with people in front of me and people behind me. And we got a comment from some, some, I, I, I'm, assu- I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's a man just because of the, the, the vernacular that he used. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, you really can't tell because they're pictured, like they have, they do not have themselves at all on their TikTok. But he goes on saying, um, yeah, typical boring story from a typical boring woman. I don't know why they feel like we need to hear these things. <laughs> But instead of like getting mad, I wrote to him and I was like, hey, this was actually a very significant point in my wellness journey. And the entire podcast focuses on the positivity of that. So um, I just wanted to let you know that this is very uh, relevant to our topic. Mm -hmm. And like, and I even said, like, have a great day. And then he wrote back and he was like, yeah, well, that's super boring. And and nobody that knows that, like, if people don't know that, they're just going to hate this clip or something. And I was (laughs) like, okay, well, that's, that's, that's for you. And I want you to have a great day. And then I blocked it because I was like, I'm not going to let you get me down. I'm really not. Like that story meant something to me. That situation meant something to me. That was a significant point in my journey. And I was like, I'm not going to let you dictate how I feel about that story. That story meant a lot to me. That was a, right. that was obviously if, if it wasn't significant, it wouldn't stick out in my mind. But um, yeah. And I, I, there were times when I would have been like, Oh, he's right. That was dumb. I shouldn't have said that, but I don't know. I just, like I said, this community, our, our journey with WW, our, our journey, even within this podcast, cause it's been very therapeutic for me every, every week to get on here and talk things out and talk about it. I have really found a way to, to be kind and not, you know what I mean? To find that. And and you know, what's funny that you just said too, though. Um, I think so many of us do that. Like, and then if we're not kind to ourselves and we get mad at ourselves that we weren't kind. to Yes. That's how I feel. Like I want to rewind the tape just so I can do something better. (laughs) Like, no. So, but see, even in that moment though, like you were like, you know what? No, I, that I was happy in that moment. I don't need to, I don't need to define this to anybody else. That was a significant moment to me. That was a moment I felt proud that I felt good in my own skin. And I'm not going to let anybody else tell me otherwise. Mm -hmm. But it's like you said, sometimes that knee jerk reaction is like a, ugh, like in the gut kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's not fun and it's not fun to do at all. So um, I hope we start this, this, this top. Cause I, I love some of the things that I think we've started, what we've started past the mic, uh, sprinkles, yeah. some of our little hashtags. Maybe I'm going to start a hashtag be kind rewind mm-hmm. and see if this can kick up too. When we have those days when something happens maybe we don't even realize that it's happening and we start to get into that negative those like like storm clouds start rolling in mm-hmm. and we're like no 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 right um did any okay did you see Encanto? yeah i love uh tia peppa when she's like clear sky yes clear sky. It's like when she's trying to like tell herself i love that i always think of that too like when those storm clouds roll in like no 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 i choose I choose clear skies. I do. Yes. Um, that I is such a great point. I love Encanto. 
I do too. And I think still to this day, and it's been out for a while. <laughs> part of it too is we always have to take the step to acknowledge that it's happening. Like we just yeah. we can't be on autopilot with some of our thoughts, and we have to kind of call ourselves out. And that's where I think the idea of talking to yourself how you would a friend, like. I almost wish I would have yes. commented back to that woman and said, like, would you say that to your friend? Like, yeah. I could never walk up to my friend and be like, have you gained weight? Like, that's just not... <laughs> right. even yeah. a stranger. I mean, I wouldn't do it to a stranger, but like, yeah. certainly not a friend. Um, but like, you know, some of the things that we say to ourselves, if we said it out loud to a friend, like, or if we post it on someone's Instagram who we love and we support if we would say that to them like, like publicly right like yeah. how would that make them feel and and just kind of take a pause to think mm, yeah mm -hmm. that's not it <laughs> pause rewind yeah. let me actually say the facts of the situation because usually when I'm being hard on myself or being negative it's like the drama queen in me is coming out and I'm just like really in the world of extremes and i'm not yeah uh, you know or my sister-in-law courtney would say get off planet crouton <laughs> where you're just like <laughs> you're just like totally not with it um but That's i think we have to like call ourselves out when we're doing it because that that's when we're going to have growth and we have have the opportunity yes. to make a different choice but if we're just beating ourselves up and we're not even realizing it like Nothing's gonna change. And, and acknowledging it is not being is not being down on us either. Like maybe we need to write it out. Like this was a situation. This is how I reacted. How how do I want to react next time? Mm -hmm. What what would I have preferred to react? That's that rewind part. Okay, what just happened? What how how did I want how would I want to react next time? Mm -hmm. Maybe that wasn't how I, I I chose to react this time, but it was that knee jerk reaction. How do I want to consciously choose to react the next time? Mm -hmm. Maybe we write it down. Like I told you the other day, I've been journaling a lot. And I've, I've noticed myself doing that on some days. Like I wasn't feeling this today. However, I would always look back, like, but I was proud that I did this. I'm happy that I chose that. And this is how I'm going to change this action the next time. So I rewound it, looked at the tapes, and I'm like, all right, this is cool. I'm going to have growth from this. Because we can learn from everything. Mm -hmm. We don't go into something being pros at anything. Nobody does. So that we can learn from every single action and reaction. We can even learn from the trolls out there, mm -hmm. like how to react differently. I think I even told the guy, and like, because he was like saying how, well, look at it from my perspective. If you didn't know what it was, then um, it's just a boring story. And I was like, I, I think I told him, well, then maybe our podcast isn't for you. Thank you so much. And I blessed <laughs> him. Yeah. I'm like, I don't need you to on here just being negative just to be negative. Like, yeah. you really didn't have to do that. And TikTok's kind so... of wild about that in general. I mean, I think a lot of the trolls are on TikTok because, you know, anybody who's anybody can see your content. And they're not necessarily, necessarily people who know dropping into happiness or, like, you know, I'm – it. so, yeah, that's that's why I avoided TikTok for a long time. Videos... But yeah. Oh, I know. If you look at any of our videos, like they are all relating to the same thing. Like you 100, and even if you go to the site at the top little description, it has a brief little like one sentence. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, come on, man. Like he just saw something that didn't relate to him. And instead of swiping, decided to have a negative comment. Right. That's ridiculous. Which wasn't called for at all. Mm -mm. But I was not going to let him get me down. But it was kind of funny because I was almost excited. I was like, oh, our first troll. Like I was almost kind of <laughs> excited. It is a rite of passage <laughs> because it, it's inevitable, you know, for the longest time I was like, wow like I just only have really nice people following me and just life is so yeah. great but the bigger your platform gets the just more susceptible you are and there yeah. are genuinely people out there that think well because you share your life online Maggie like this is the byproduct and it's like mm -hmm. that doesn't make it okay like uh, yeah. you know and even I even people who really genuinely support me they'll be like well you know this is just the side effect and I'm like okay <laughs> there's this guy that I absolutely love his name is Simon Sinek and he actually had this whole thing about brutal honesty should not be a thing mm -hmm. honesty should be a thing brutal honesty is not called for because mm -hmm. some people are like oh if you just can't take it I'm just being honest nope you can still be totally honest with somebody without hurting their feelings mm -hmm. you can be totally honest with somebody in a very civilized calm conversation you don't have to say it with harsh words you don't have to say it at harsh times you can still be honest and genuine with people without being brutal, well, you, brutal we, honesty is an, like an oxymoron we can do that with ourselves then as well 
right? Like yeah. we can be honest with ourselves without being nasty um, or putting yes. ourselves down or being frankly just a bully, yeah. just a big old bully. Bully, bully. You know, schools don't like that term anymore because oh. my nephew was being bullied and my sister in law called the school and said that he was being bullied. And they were like, We don't like that term. What are we calling so it my now? My goes, Great, then he was being harassed. Yeah. And they were like, That's better. She's all, Okay. What? That's yeah. what that, that hasn't made its yeah. way to Florida yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're not... Yeah, us in yeah California. They yeah. don't like the word bully anymore. Even if you're being a bully, they don't want to ca- they don't want to call it a bully because I don't. Yeah, like I don't even. What do you but call no, someone then? Like <laughs> nasty. Definitely. So like so I like that though. Thinking that to ourselves, like we don't have to be brutally honest mm-hmm. with ourselves. Just being honest. You don't have to put someone down with your honesty. You really, really don't. Mm-mm. You don't even have to be honest with someone at a time where you feel like your honesty could still hurt their feelings. So like I said, I wrote mine down. I wrote mine down later in the day when I was like calming down for the day being like, okay, this was not, this was not a reaction I wanted to do today. This was not something I, 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 I'm not happy with this action that I did today, Mm -hmm. but the next time this is, and this is what I'm going to do. And this is why I think I did it in the first place kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm telling you, I love Simon Sinek though. He has, um, his whole thing about start with why, and if anybody ever wants to see that, it's on YouTube. He does. I'll even put a link to it because it's it's in business. Start with why and why some companies are just so much more successful than others. Because instead of saying, oh, here's our product, buy it. They're like, this is why we do what we do. Mm-hmm. We also happen to have a product. Oof. And it's just, it can completely change the way that you look at a business. And honestly, I feel like that's kind of when I started this podcast. I started with my why. Why did I want to do this? Mm-hmm. Not what the product was what was my message? What, why did I want to do it? Um, I mean, and I think we think about that a lot with our journey too, right? What's your, why, why do we do this? What is our, why, why are we in a wellness journey? Why are we so concerned about these things? Why are we so negative to ourselves at times? Why, why do we do that? It's such a powerful word. It really, really is. I agree. Yeah. 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 Be kind. So rewind. be kind. Rewind. Yeah. <laughs> that that we're was not in planned. sync <laughs> we're in sync we are but yeah All i just right. also well, like i do want to normalize though before we wrap it up like i think it's okay. a normal human trait to say something mean it about is. yourself it's just it is mm-hmm. like d- so try not to beat yourself up for beating yourself up just acknowledge it be honest <laughs> yeah. with yourself girl you're beating yourself yeah. up rewind yeah. be kind and just know that even like the people that might be the most inspiring to you, they still have days where they mm-hmm. aren't being the kindest to themselves. And it's just a work in progress. But we can Absolutely. do it. We can be kind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To ourselves, to others, mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. 100%. Woo. So it is time, though, to get into our uh, goals and recommendations. So did you want me to go first or do you want to go first? You can go first. Okay. I had a couple different things, actually, and I think I'm going to, um, I think my goal and my recommendation is going to be kind of the same thing this week. So, oh, I don't even remember when I brought up this book by Dr. William Lee called Eat to Beat Disease. And literally this whole book is about certain foods, how they can uh, literally be fighters within your body. Well, he had such a great response from that book. He actually wrote another one called Eat to Beat Your Diet. Um, I remember the word diet is not in the term of removing things and the fad diets not that that because the word diet is literally just what you eat Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) so this book it's been so interesting i just started it the other day and my goal this week is i want to read it i want to sit down and read at least twice this week for 15 minutes probably on tuesday and thursday just because those are some of my slower nights um but i want to sit down and i want to read even if i have to set a timer for 15 minutes should i go beyond my 15 minutes awesome but uh, I just, I really like what he has to say. And he has uh, like a whole list of foods in the book that are just super beneficial to your body. Like they really just are. So things that you can add into your daily routine and be beneficial. And spoiler alert, we actually have someone coming on next week who does that. They, this is this person who is certified and they are going to talk to us about I, I've asked her to give us three just to start with. His list had like 150, but I've asked her to give us three things that we could literally just add into our everyday that we might not even notice, but that could be beneficial and to heal our body from the inside out. And that's what, that was part of my why was I wanted to heal my body with food. Mm. So 
My goal is to read twice this week, 15 minutes. And then I am just recommending either one of those books by Dr. William Lee. You know, I will put links to these in the show notes as well as in the blog post. Um, so yeah, Dr. William Lee, good stuff. Like I just, I like that it's very holistic. He looks at food in a healing way. And I just, I need that. I like to look at food in a healing way instead of as the enemy kind of thing. Like I feel like I've programmed my brain to do. Mm. So that's mine. Love it. What about you, Meg? My star goal is actually to try a kid's meal at a restaurant, uh, to try like specifically a kid's meal that I haven't had before at a restaurant uh-huh. because I want to start a new series on my Instagram. I might bring it over to TikTok, but uh, TikTok is TikTok. But I um, I shared a, a my go-to Chipotle order, which is a kid's meal order, yes. which... Uh, me and a bunch of my followers agree that we need to just start calling it smaller plates or like smaller portion options or something and not kids meals because but I wish that would be a thing with restaurants and why do sometimes they say oh you're not a kid you can't get that I'm like but what if I don't want the size that you're offering as the adult I want a smaller portion right. why can't I and just, the money I spends the, the same portion? the money spends yeah. the same anyway yeah. so um I want to start a series where I share like healthier kids meal options and really like the options where you get the most bang for your buck because eating is expensive lately and I feel like there's some kids meals out there that are great value for money and fit in the points budget so Mm -hmm. I'm on a mission um I'm feeling inspired which doesn't happen often anymore so I gotta ride the wave (laughs) (laughs) and my recommendation y'all know me and my random products that I like to share but this one is seasonally appropriate because it's starting to warm up Rachel was um commenting on my uh skin development (laughs) since our last podcast so um (laughs) it is summer here in Florida basically but um I know it's still warming up other parts of the country there is this um Sun Touchable Woe Glow um, Sunscreen and Makeup Primer by e.l.f. So e.l.f. is an affordable, yes, affordable makeup brand. Um, It's infused with hydrating aloe, hyaluronic acid, and squalene. I think that's how you say it. Um, This lightweight SPF 30 creates a glowing radiance while priming for long-lasting makeup wear. I have not actually tried it on with makeup because I don't wear a ton of makeup when it's warm out. Um, But this is a sunscreen for your face, but then it also, like I said, has a little bit of a glow. So you put it on and your skin just radiates. It's so pretty. So I do even just this with like a little bit of brow gel, maybe some mascara and lip gloss. And that's all I need to like feel a little bit more put together than if I was wearing nothing. But then you get the added benefit of the SPF. So super affordable, highly recommend. Minute. It hasn't made how my much? skin bring out. How much that is? I want to say ten dollars at the most, but let me look it up. I'm loving it because I have the okay, Target app. Just because I'm w- I'm within arm's reach of mine. So just because you brought that up, so Super City Block is what I use. Ooh, oh, that's backwards. And it's an SPF 50. However, and I swear I can go. It'll take me eight months to go through one tube because I use so little amount of it. But I do this underneath my my foundation. Uh, I've used it cheese and crackers for probably ten years mm-hmm. plus. I love this stuff. Um, but it's like thirty dollars a pop. Oh yeah, this so, is fourteen. I just found it. I like that. Is your does yours have like a shimmer or like a or is it just no, regular it's sunscreen? Solid. Yeah, so it this... says daily energy and face protector. And you know what's kind of funny? And I'm gonna toot my own horn a little bit. I was looking in the mirror the other day because y'all, I'm gonna be forty one in June, and I was like, I was so excited that I really don't have any wrinkles around my eyes, on my brows. I'm like, I am like super excited, <laughs> and I don't know if it's because I've been wearing sunblock for so long, like I've been really protecting my face from sun damage um i I literally i even if i'm not wearing makeup i will still put this guy on just because i want to make sure i have my spf on but um i love that i love that one that you have though like with the little yeah like you can't i i put it on this morning before church and it's i've since worked out and everything so you can't really tell but when you first put it on maybe i'll like film a a story for um the dropping in the happiness where you can see like what it looks like before and after but i just love it because i like makeup but one i like to sleep um two it's hot <laughs> so, like for me so i just yeah. like the most bare bones and like you know spf yeah. so good i've i've not been great about wearing it like most of my life so i'm trying as i've gotten older to like 
do the adulting thing and take care of our skin because like yes that's a real I thing say i was in my late 20s yeah i was probably my late 20s when i started wearing it too because i wanted to start doing the spf i wanted to protect my skin yeah because um, i'm not super great about doing my moisturizer every day but this i do this every single day mm -hmm. so mornings i do get a good moisture and then my spf in there too so it just is the the double and it's in there awesome so awesome yay, yay. whoa glow and yes when Maggie mentioned her her little hack for for her first hack, I did share that on the dropping into happiness. Oh, you um, shared the Instagram. Chipotle, Chipotle. I did, yeah, yeah, on the Instagram onto our stories. I thought that was really that one fun. popped um, off. People love the food yeah. content, which yes. I mentioned on my stories. It's like it's fun to share, but also it's so vulnerable to share because again, there are a lot of people out there that have strong opinions about food choices, yeah. and so I just have been doing it in smaller doses, but. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm feeling the whole kids meal adventure. So to be continued. Well, as soon as you said that, like that made me think when we go to Canes, like Raising Canes, remember I talked about Somebody that. Somebody said that. Oh, I usually do the kids meal. Yep. Someone <laughs> said do. that when I put in the, yeah. I was like, what kids meal should I share next? And someone said Raising Canes, which we just got one yeah. here in um, town. We have so, the chicken places and burger places are like popping up everywhere. I'm like. Do we have enough, like, chicken tender spots? Like, I mean, I think I mentioned that in my a podcast, is, actually. There's so many. We're getting an in and out and I've already told you guys yeah. I'm not a fan. And my husband is so excited. Because right now, we either have to go one town over in either direction to get to one. So, mm -hmm. not far, but we're getting one in our town. And he's so excited. I'm like, oh, okay. Yay. Yay. Get it in the lettuce <laughs> wrap. I'm excited about it. Woo. I know. <laughs> or, yeah, like, or protein style with just the, the lettuce and the meat. But whatevs. Yeah. Okay, do we have a quote, Maggie? We do have a quote. I almost opened up a new tab, which would have been dangerous. Okay. Self-compassion <laughs> is simply giving the same kindness to ourselves that we would give to others. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Think about that. What would you say to a friend? Be kind, rewind. Do not be mean to yourself for not being kind in the first place. We're going to learn from it. We're going to rewind, relook and readjust because we can do this friends we mm -hmm. and it's totally human and totally normal so all right guys well it's time to say it though so thanks for dropping by have a magical day bye